good morning and welcome to this week's edition of East Side Story. I hope everyone's had a great week and a happy Thanksgiving. Now for our first story on seniors involved in fall sports. Well, right now I've got two scholarships lined up. One for Indiana, they want me to play striker, and North Carolina wants me a goalie, but I haven't made my decision yet. Well, um, I'm probably just going to go overseas and look to play probably in Germany. I know there's a lot of top teams there. I've been offered some contracts already, but I'm not getting the t kind of money I'm wanting at this point. <laughs> well, I kind of admire Kobe Bryant, and I think I'm just going to go straight to pro soccer league after high school, forget about college and all the other things. Yeah, um, I done signed a contract. I'm going straight to the pros, so that's about it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, unlike them, I'm going to pursue an education and try and play at University of Kentucky or South Carolina and become a fighting Gamecock. I'm not going to pursue anything. I will go back to Germany and play there. <laughs> The end was kind of a disappointment, but other than that, it was fun. Well, our record wasn't so good going into the the regionals. Our record was six and nine, but going into districts, we didn't do so good after that. I wasn't really pleased with it. Jason, you got anything? No. Hey, buddy. We were so happy with it. That's about it. All that matters. I mean, we played hard, had fun. I'm Classmen, it's going to be tough next year, but fight through it. You'll come out on top. You're really going to need to work hard. I mean, uh, you're going to have to fight through a lot of adversity. There's going to be a lot of tough times. A lot of people who suck. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of bad players. But, uh, Just rewind the tape. <laughs> I mean, with a little luck, a little, little I mean, uh, few good breaks here and there, you know. Shockley comes along in the goal. You get a good coach, I mean. <laughs> uh, I, think, I think they're going to have to work hard, and uh, Mr. Derricks needs to make them run a lot more, maybe a couple miles of practice like they did a couple years ago, you know. We came out on top that year, but to stay together, work hard, and it's Tony's turn. Kurt's uh, doing good in the physical aspect. He's already got a scholarship lined up for cross-country running. Um, he's the, he can run a mile and four flat real easy. And he's, he's lined up. That's probably their only key aspect right now. Don't really know what else they're going to do. Um, I think if y'all worked real hard, um, y'all probably win one or two games next year. Really dry. <laughs> and that's, that's pretty much it. Maybe, maybe three. A senior volleyball player. Megan, do you plan to pursue volleyball after high school? Yeah, I hope to play at Bellarmine, but I don't know if I'll get a scholarship or not, but I would like to play in the future, yeah. Were you pleased with your season? Oh, the team was young, and we had a lot of inexperience, but it was, it was a nice season. I had a lot of fun. Yeah, it was a good season. And do you have any advice for the underclassmen? Next year, I want all the little girls to work hard, play the best they can, and you'll be really good when you grow up. So that's my advice. Thanks, Megan. And guys, what's your favorite memory from your football times? Uh, probably when we went to state my sophomore year. Should have won, but that's all right. Well, I'd say going to state, start my first game, and when we all made Byron pick up the soap and the shower. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 I remember that. That got pretty gross. Yeah. yeah, yeah. When we went to state my sophomore year, and, and my first year to start. <clears throat> Might be running 1600s in the summer. It's about 125 degrees outside. Going to state and recovering that fumble against Taylor County. Uh, probably running 1600s. Uh, probably my first tackle against North Bullet. Do any of you guys plan to continue on to college? I'm thinking about it. I ain't for sure. Not yet. I haven't really decided. 
No, I'm too short. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely somewhere. I'm retired. Yes, I plan on. Uh, yeah, I'm hoping to play baseball in college. Do you have any advice for the freshmen? If they are smart, they'd get rid of that sled. It's a, I won't say, but it's all right. The slope, the soap is a uh, pretty slippery. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they just need to stick together as a team. That what I say, just stay together. Yeah. Work as a unit. Drink lots of water. Work as a team. Um, I have no idea. Thanks, guys, and good luck on a. Wednesday, P. Collins of Mississippi State Trooper came and talked to the student body about the consequences of driving drunk. So I don't care what I tell him, he says, Daddy, I know that. His mother would say something, Mother, I know that. Little sucker came in one day with his report card, slid across the table. He said, Go ahead and read it, old man. I'm tired of driving the car anyway. I said, you smart off at me, boy? Yes, sir. <laughs> Come in. Sir? Come in. Yes, sir. I said, you know what I'm going to do to you, son? No, sir. I said, I'm going to beat you. <laughs> Come back. He said, you can't hit me, Daddy. Hadn't you been watching television? It's against the law. <laughs> I said, you looking at the law, boy. Come in. I said, it's a God-given right for every man to have two privileges, fellas. God's given you the right to own a pickup truck with your kid. I said, now my daddy had a pickup, he would me. His daddy had a pickup, he would him. And I own a pickup, you little sucker. Come here. <laughs> he took his hand and stuck it out. He said, hit me. I double. The truth said it go happen. Now, gang, this is your old trip. That's the only body you're ever going to have. And I promise you, you're not going to live forever. Fellas, please listen to me. If you love that young lady, you would no more put her in an automobile drinking and acting a fool than you'd try to fly a guy in the moon ring. Why? Because you'll never hurt what you love. Do you know the best way to love something? Realize you lose it. Young ladies, if he loves you, he'd never take a chance on hurting you. The quickest way you can die, and I can't tell you how to live, but I can tell you that 15 seconds after you die, everybody in Mount Washington, Kentucky, don't forget your name. What are they going to do? Put a picture of you in the annual? Well, maybe they'll be nice enough to plant a tree out by the flagpole and tell people you used to go to school here. Or maybe they'll even be nice enough to put a plaque out by the principal's office. But I promise you, gang, 15 seconds after they close that lid on you, up here at the funeral home, everybody in this high school is going to get your name. Girl, before you ever think about falling in love, don't, don't, don't fall in love until you call and check your driving record perfect. And now this week's horoscopes. This week's horoscopes. Aries, tonight you'll discover that your mom is really a man. Taurus, frogs will attack you on the freeway. Gemini, Elvis and Tupac are alive and living in Rhode Island. Visit them. Cancer, you'll receive a pair of corduroy pants for Christmas. Leo, tonight you will be, will be very interesting. Come prepared. Virgo, you will be arrested while trying to steal the welcome to Taylorsville sign. Libra, a chair will mysteriously fall from the ceiling. Scorpio, you become mad at a current situation. Your mind turns to mutiny. Sagittarius, your luck will run out today. Watch your back. Capricorn, your fate will be that of Creon. Aquarius, beware of the department store that starts with a W. Pisces, you will have a sudden urge to shave. It will take 73 razors. Hello, this is Tony Giske of Michael Newkirk, and we're at the Charger Savings and Loan. Here you go, Tony. You practice some cans for the food drive. Thanks, man. No Pork problem, beans buddy. and white potatoes. Thanks, Stevie. My favorites. The Charger Savings and Loan is doing a food drive for the holidays, and we're going to be open before school and during business hours at banks. 
I believe I heard something about Santa Claus on my Yes, own. Tony, the rumor's true. Santa Claus is coming to town. He's coming to Bullet East December 16th, 17th, and 18th, and he's two dollars for a picture with him. Uh, he'll be here and he's very good looking, so please get your picture taken. Uh, we encourage you to get a savings account in charter savings and loans. You get five in five percent interest on the money you take out or put in rather. And uh it's free money, so it would be unwise not to open one. You get a free prize when you open it, and you're eligible each week for a drawing and a prize. And we at Chargers and Savings and Loans want to wish you a happy holiday. We are sponsoring a holiday decorating contest. The contest will run all next week and be judged by Mr. Neal and Mrs. Scro. Winners will be announced Wednesday, December the 18th. There will be four divisions of competition. A winning locker will be chosen from each hall. Teachers are. Welcome to this week's edition of East Side Story. I hope everyone's had a great week and a happy Thanksgiving. Now for our first story on seniors involved in fall sports. Well, right now I've got two scholarships lined up. One for Indiana, they want me to play striker. 